everyone this question is from gate 2023 from function of several variables now they are saying that f and g are a function from r to r that means it is a real valued function and fxy they have defined like this x square minus 3 by 2 xy square and gxy they are defined now they are saying that p has a saddle uh, f has a saddle point at the point 0 0 and g has a saddle point at the point 0 0 so both the statement we have to verify these are the options okay now how we will verify this so before verifying let's uh, let me introduce with the uh, definition of saddle point saddle point means it's a point uh it's a point which is neither a local maximum point or it's nor a minimum point okay what do we mean by maximum or minimum point in our uh, in several variables that means suppose a comma b is your local maximum point suppose this is your point a v okay this is your point a v then f of x y should be less or equal to f of a v that means f of a v is greater or equal to all the value of f of x y in a neighborhood of that point a v in a neighborhood means there exists a neighborhood of the point a v such that f of a b is greater or equal to all the value of f of x y okay and it is a point of local minimum if f of a comma b is less or equal to f of x y f of x y in a neighborhood of point, the point a v now if the case is not like this that means if the point a v is not a um, point of local maximum or minimum then it is a saddle point now let's check how we can check this so we have a very uh, interesting formula that f of x x into f of y y minus f x y whole square if it is positive at the point a v then we may assume that there is a point of local maxima or local minima so if this happens this is the first necessary conditions and then if both f x x into f y y is positive then we will say that f has a local minimum at the point a v and if f x x into f y y is less than 0 at a v then we will say it is a point of at that point it has a local maximum okay now if the case is not that that means if f x x into f y y minus f x y whole square is negative then we will say that f has a saddle point at the point a v okay now let's see how we can use this in our question so our question is uh, for f this is x square minus 3 by 2 x y square so we have to find f x x f y y and f x y right then we will check what happens when at the point 0 0 f x x into f y y minus f x y whole square what happens this so f x x into f y y minus f x y whole square you will get at the point 0 0 it is 0 because f x x is 2 f y y is minus 3 by 2 into 2 x you have to put x y uh, x equal to 0 y equal to 0 so it will be your 0 uh, 9 y square will be also 0 so you will get f x x into f y y minus f x y whole square equal to 0 but the thing is we have discussed when it is negative then it is a saddle point but if it is not negative then the test is fails okay now then how we will check we will check this by definition of saddle point as i said that it's a saddle point if it is neither a point of local maximum or minima so now let's see if it is a local maximum or local minimum point then we will say this point is not a saddle point so our f of 0 0 is 0 because our f is this so if you put x equal to 0 y equal to 0 it will be 0 so if for your f of 0 0 is 0 now if i go in this in this direction x equal to z on the x axis when y equal to 0 then in you will get that f of x comma 0 will be your what x square minus 0 x into 0 is 0 so x square only so your f of x comma 0 will be x square right and x square is quadratic so it is always positive so x square is greater or equal to 0 that means f of x comma x comma 0 is always greater or equal to f of 0 0 that means in the neighborhood of 0 0 you are getting a neighborhood of 0 0 on the x axis where f of x comma y x comma 0 is greater or equal to f of 0 0 right so f of 0 0 all the value of f, uh, f of x y is greater or equal to f of 0 0 when you are going through x axis now if i if you go around this y equal to root x 
y equal to radix means this parabola okay so if you go around this you will get your y, y equal to root x so from there you will get x square minus 3 by 2 x square which is minus x square by 2 and that is always uh, less or equal to 0 right so you are getting this is as negative so f of x comma root x will be less or equal to f of 0 0 what does that mean that means you are getting a neighborhood where you are getting if all the value of f of x y is less or equal to f of 0 0 you are getting a neighborhood on this line okay on this parabola so that means 0 0 point that means in a neighborhood of f 0 0 you are getting f of x comma y is greater or equal to f of 0 0 and in a neighborhood of 0 0 you are getting f of x comma y is less or equal to f of 0 0 so what that what does that mean that means this point 0 0 is neither a local minimum point or nor a local maximum point because if it is a local minimum point then in all the neighborhood of that point in a neighborhood of that point you will get f of x y is greater or equal to f of 0 0 for all x y in that neighborhood okay for all x y in a neighborhood of that point and you know in r2 is a neighborhood means a disk right a disk type so 0 0 point is not a minimum not a maximum so it is a saddle point now what happens if we consider g so your g is this okay if you uh, check gxx into gyy minus gy uh, gxy whole square you will again get zero so i haven't did this again so now you will check by definition your g00 is zero so if you again go around x axis you you will get g of x comma zero is 4x to the power 4 which is greater than zero that means g of x comma zero is always greater or equal to zero okay and if you go around y equal to 2x square on this parabola you will get g of x comma 2x square is less or equal to g of 0 0 what does that mean that means you are getting a neighborhood of that point when all the value of g of x y is greater or equal to g 0 0 and in a neighborhood g of x comma y is less or equal to 0 0 so that means 0 0 point is neither a point of local maximum or a local minimum so it is also a saddle point so from that uh, from that result what you are getting your p statement is true your q statement is true so which option will be true uh, option a is the true right answer okay i hope you understand the solution thanks